Alright, hello everybody. So the question I'm trying to answer here is what is the best value in a tennis ball machine? Um, after careful research, I have narrowed down the search to four manufacturers, that's being Sports Tutor, Lobster, Sam, and Silent Partner. All right, let's take a look what I chose for criteria for selecting a tennis ball machine. Uh, first thing on the list is spin. In today's game, spin is very important. Most players, uh, from beginners to uh, high-level players, put a lot of emphasis on spin. So I think having a tennis ball machine that can duplicate some of that feel is very important, so I put that on top of the list. Next one is battery power. Uh, this is fairly uh, having having a tennis ball machine to be ba battery powered is an easy call, unless you have your own tennis court. Having access to be able to plug in uh, the tennis ball machine is probably unlikely in most uh, public courts. So. To me, uh, not, not being bad, battery power is a deal breaker. Third one is being portable. Uh, it means lightweight and small footprint so it can fit in your trunk and mobility. Uh, there's no point in having a tennis ball machine if you're not going to use it because it's uh, too much of a hassle to move from your house to the court. Um, next. Uh, large tennis ball capacity. I think minimum is requirement is 100 balls. That's what I notice is how much I need to really warm up and get used to hitting hitting the ball. So it will be somewhat of a waste be that I would have to refill the tennis ball machine before really being warmed up and used to hitting it. Um, random shots. Uh, I think that is probably not as important as the other ones, but if you don't have a, a hitting partner that's always available, it's nice to have a random shot selection so you can kind of duplicate the, um, the tennis partner uh, without actually having one. And finally, by least important as a remote. Uh, you can always go up to the machine and change any settings. But if it's not too expensive, you know, adding a remote is something people might want to consider. Alright, here are some uh, manufacturers that meet the above criteria that we discussed earlier. First one is Sports Tutor. They made a line of Tennis Tutor through Tennis Tutor Plus. The prices are from $12.49 to $20.49, which includes the multifunctional remote and a player mode that's supposed to uh, simulate real game situations. Next one is Lobster. I looked at the Elite 2 and 3 models, which range from a price of $13.49 to $19.17. Sam, which appears to be a smaller manufacturer, uh, has a models P1 through P4 price, price that around $1,000 to $17.50. And uh, Silent Partner has a range of uh, ball machines from about And now let's look at how the, all the different models stack up with each other. Uh, the same SMP1 outside of the price was very disappointing. Uh, the, it, was very, it appears to be very bulky and even the lob feature requires a, a separately purchased adapter which was very disappointing. Next, the Silent Partner has a quite a few intriguing features, in particular the high speed capability which is advertised at 95 miles an hour. 
which is as, uh, I would assume is higher than most people would need in a bulk capacity of 300. The Lobster Elite and Sports Tutor Plus were very similar. Uh, they appear to be both very well put together and all of the features are very similar. Uh, the, the size, ball capacity and warranty are, are equivalent, including the price. Outside of the sand, all the machines were very closely matched together, but of course we have to have a winner. So considering the price of $13.49, the portability and the large wheels of the unit, I think the Lobster Elite 2 is your best choice. For those of you that are unable or unwilling to spend $1,300 or $1, on a tennis ball machine, the Silent Partner line is a pretty good alternative. It has all of the basic uh, features that you would need, uh, spin control, battery, random oscillation, and it's only $700. The drawback is that it's only two hour battery to get this unit. and any of the adjustments need to be done through manual mechanism.